Greetings, this is Mr. Royce coming at you with a video and my subject will be basically an annex or a add-on to a video put out by Master Teacher BGS Ibmore um, on his first, his first thoughts of courting. I have to say it was an excellent video. I encourage all to go by and watch that video on his channel, BGS Ibmore. In his video, he talked about who courting was primarily for, which was royalty, which that's an important point because you have a lot of common people, a lot of common black people, um, a lot of common black women who um, they talk about courting and chivalry. And the thing is, is that um, black America has no nobility or royalty class, none whatsoever. Um, so there's no, there's no benchmark on what the proper behavior for courting in black America should be. Um, also, with this being the case, um, you have people calling for something that's part of a formal construct, a formal structure, but yet and these very same, many of these very same people go out and they celebrate the results of informal behavior, such as uh, unplanned pregnancy, um, sex um, when there shouldn't be sex, things like that. Um, so this was it was it was pretty pretty timely that uh, he mentioned this in his video. Now, what black what black America does not understand, and in particular black American women, is that um, there are two sides to chivalry um, as far as what should be done customarily and there's two sides of courting which you know um women tend to focus on the giving part you know give me attention give me time give me access to resources entertain me so forth and so on and the other side of that is to sh um for women to show why they would be worth that man's time and attention and exclusivity. This is important because women have to remember that there are millions of women on the planet, millions, billions, and um, they pretty much have the same basic parts and they all basically function the same. So what these women have to remember is that something has to set them apart from all those other women and it's, this is especially true in the black community because you actually have a ratio of seven women to one male to one man so you're dealing with that in addition to women of other races um showing an interest in the black men so you have to show what sets you apart what makes you special how you can enhance that man's life so, and, and, and I think this is, this is the part that is lost among many women because, for number one, they don't have the wife training and everything in society nowadays tells them that everything is about them and that they're supposed to be catered to, you know. So, now you have a lot of women who don't really know how to do anything besides take pictures look sexy and um, the only thing of value they have about themselves is their sexuality now because of this this is what they focus on you know um, they focus on you know you can see it in social media with the uh, sideways butt poses um, the uh, pouty faces um, the endless amount of selfies so forth and so on. 
know, the flip side of that is that you have a lot of women who are highly educated, but they don't realize men don't care about that from women. That's only important when men deal with men. The moment a woman starts listing off her education and accomplishments in the workplace, she becomes another man. In the eyes of that man she may be interested in or that she's looking at as a suitor, she becomes another man. And when she becomes another man to that man, she becomes competition, not a companion. So that's the other side of that. Now, BGS also mentioned that um, as far as courting, it's a way of a it's, it's a way that a man gives a woman a glimpse into how he into what his utility is and into um, what kind of lifestyle he would be able to afford that woman should they become an exclusive couple. Um, uh, uh, it gives a glimpse into um, his ability to earn his willingness to um, extend resources to her um, and his carefulness in how he deals with her um, shows the the amount of attention and detail he would pay to her and possibly the children that comes from him. On the other side, when a woman does things like she uh, tidies up um, in a man's apartment or his his living in abode um she does things like uh you know uh pick up groceries for him or you know pick up his dry cleaning and stuff it shows her ability to care and to be an assistant in his life her it 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 shows her um it shows how she will um prioritize this man um, it gives this man a glimpse on, into how she would care for any children that he gives her. And um, it also shows the, how she conducts herself during courting will also show um, what she will do with whatever a man gives her as far as uh, access to resources, um, a home and different thing like different things like that. Now, what's important is that you have to remember that in gaining the exclusivity of a man, a woman wants his time, she wants his attention, she wants his resources, she wants him to make her an honest woman, she wants his uh, fidelity, she wants his uh, physical utility, she wants um, his last name, she wants a lot of different things. Um, so what that woman has to do, she has to show herself. She has, she has to show how she herself is worth what she is asking for a man to provide for. Now, what you have with a lot of modern women is that, um, you have this strong and independent attitude that they don't need a man that they don't, you know, that whatever man can give them, they can give. They can get themselves, which is uh, <laughs> largely a lie because they can't get a man's time and attention without him consenting. And this is why a man's time and attention is important. This is why he shouldn't waste it and, and be frivolous with his time and attention. Will you know, wantonly giving it away to um, women who don't mean anything to him. Um, on that note, um, I want to end this. I want to pretty much end this video, but um, what I want to be doing in the future, I'm going to be doing more videos. Some of them will be response videos to other videos I see, or to subjects that interest me. Um, I might even host some hangouts. So um, for people that want to call and talk about different subjects, we can do that. Um, as, and as long as the discourse is respectful and tasteful, um, we can talk about anything. We can agree. We can we can agree to disagree. Um, we can have a good time. And 
Any questions you have of me, I will answer to the best of my ability. On that note, this is Mr. Royce signing off. Have a good evening, folks.